Fire Island. Squirtle and Brion were searching for an idol, but Croconaw got to it first. Bayleaf and Grobal were in a tough spot after the last elimination, and Torcat was upset about being double-crossed and claimed that he would start using underhanded plays. Ivysaur had a moment with Mudkip bringing forth this classic love triangle, and the challenge came, which was a simple game of paintball. And during the challenge, Squirtle was able to get Drizzile out of the slump and started trying wholeheartedly in a challenge skin. But that wasn't enough when he tied with Torcap, but the fact that Ivysaur and Bailey were still in, the, in it made the Magmortars win the challenge. And due to having the most kills, Torcat got the Pichu Idol from the event board. Brion and her alliance asked Croconaw to help her get rid of Duoth, but Croconaw had other plans. And that was to make Drizzile, the 10th contestant, voted out of Starter Island. Now, Starter Island continues. Hey, Ivysaur, can we talk? Sure, what about? It's about Mudkip. I've been getting this feeling that you might like her in some sort of way. Well, um, maybe. Okay, listen, you're one of my closest friends on the island, and I wouldn't want to lose that. Sadly for you, I like her too. So what does that mean? Well, I wouldn't want to creep her out with both of us competing over her, so let's make an agreement. We'll only ask her out if we have confirmation that she likes one of us. That makes sense, and if she does like one of us, then let's also agree that we'll still be good friends despite our relationship with Mudkip. Couldn't agree more. Well, that's just about it. I guess we should meet with the Alliance in case there's any new plan or something. I say that one well. Truth be told, I do see Ivysaur as competition. He probably sees me as competition. If I don't end up with Mudkip, it's fine. I just hope it doesn't get in the way of the game. My feelings for Mudkip will always be the priority after the game. At this point, my goal in the game is to do the best I can with everything, and that includes my social position outside of the game. If I go home next but get a date with Mudkip, I'll be content. challenges, but the problem with that is I've never worked out a day in my life. I got a D plus in gym class. Alright Squirtle, how are you holding up? Ah, this is so painful. I can't take it anymore. When is this over? Squirtle, this is the warm up. We're stretching. We haven't even started yet. <laughs> now I understand the 69 my gym teacher gave me. I used to think it was unfair, but now I see that it was kind of nice. Alright, today's challenge is important to win. After last vote, Brion is mad at us and we still might need to preserve bigger targets for the merge. Also, the event board will help us. I only got on that thing once, but my advantage sucked. I didn't benefit me one bit. It just gave me an extra vote for Grottle. Big mistake. I hope there's no hard feelings about that. It's fine. I know you didn't have any context on who to vote for. I mean, you got the event board too once, right? Didn't you? Did anything big happen with you? Well, kind of. Nothing super big, but something that can come in clutch. What kind of clutch? Well... It's fine, you can tell us. What can we do, snitch? Nah, it's nothing too big. It's just something that could help me in the merge, that's it. Okay, so I kept the truth from them. Can you blame me? We're parting ways in the merge, which is probably soon. We shouldn't need to know that information. I'm just not sure I can trust them. I see you, Snivy, playing a little defensive there. Don't worry, I'll get you to crack. The trick is to not let them know that I'm trying to get him to crack. I'll give it time, though. You'll come around eventually. 
Hey, Ivysaur. I'll be at the Alliance meeting in a moment. I just have to talk with Snivy real quick. It's not about that. So this is kind of a strange question to be asking you, but have you ever heard Mudkip say anything about her liking me? Listen, man. I'm not all for relationships in a game like this. I'm not really the person to talk to. I mean, Mudkip knows not to talk to me about those kind of things. She usually talks to other people about that. When we talk, it's either just about game plans or small talk, so she definitely never said anything to me. But don't rule that out as a possibility of her talking about it to someone else. You can just ask her. Alright, thank you for your time. Good luck with Snivy. I'll admit, I may have gotten a little desperate and personal with that. Throttle was right though. If either of us ask her out and she doesn't feel the same, it'll create an awkward atmosphere. Especially if both of us ask her out and she says no, it'll damage the power that we have as an alliance. But I tried to find confirmation without asking her. That was the only way I could think of. Hey Dartrix, it's great to talk to you again. I wish it was under better circumstances. Listen, I know you're on the same team as Crocodile. Yeah? Why is that important? Just please watch out for him. I don't trust him. I get that, but why? Most of my evidence was from Dusknor's challenge. First, he somehow knew Raichu was out that day, and he was able to get a loophole in part A of the challenge. And sometimes it seems he doesn't try so that he doesn't seem like too big of a threat. But that's all speculation. Yes, but that's a gut feeling. That has to count for something. Alright, I'll consider it. Don't worry. I'll make smart decisions on that team. That is all I ask. Alright, good luck in today's challenge. You two, see you in the merge. Squirtle, do you ever wish everyone else on your team would just quit? Well, other than us. Still mad about Last Tribal? Yes, I'm still mad, and I should be. Twice I've trusted people to vote with us, and my own alliance got the short end of the stick. It is a game. People lie to stay in it. I know, it's just that Crocodile did it for no reason. He made the selfish choice to vote for someone who was ra secure rather than someone who was the common enemy. I get that, but ranting about it isn't going to help. We need to figure out what to do if we lose again. Well, I'm figuring someone probably already has the idol we were searching for. Probably either Duat or Crocona. They're both slick. We just need to convince one of them to vote for each other. That's the best we can do, and we have to win this next challenge. That's the spirit. Oh, hey you two, don't mind me. I'm just, you know, going for a walk, just trying to clear my mind. I remember hearing from Ivysaur that you usually stare at a lake or the dock for that. Well, lately I've been dealing with some of the people on my team. I don't want to get into it, but it's nothing bad. Well, just complicated. Is it Ivysaur and Grottle? Yeah, I just feel... torn. Yeah, it's no secret there's something going on. I don't know, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I have a preference. At the beginning of the game, I did hope for a relationship in the game, but I never thought it would be this difficult. Well, would you mind telling us who that is? I mean, I guess, but if things don't work out, then you cannot tell them. Of course, Freon. How much wanna bet? I'm no gambler, but I'm just going to say I'm on Team Grottle. Well, I'm on Team Ivysaur. So Mudkid, which one is it? Welcome campers to today's challenge. I decided to go for another chill challenge, and by chill, I mean a basic one with a twist. Today's challenge is extreme truth or dare. The rules are simple, everyone is going to pick either a truth or a dare. It's that simple, if you complete it, you get a point. The most points win if there's a tie, there will be a tiebreaker dare round. Let's begin. Now this is my kind of challenge. My friends back at home know that I can't say no to a good dare. Dares are disgusting. Alright, let's start with the electivires. Snivy, truth, or dare? I'll go with dare. Excellent. Your dare is to make out with Torchic. No. Yes. No, I am still with Venikin. But it's for the team. Sorry team, I'm not doing it. Very well then, you don't get a point. Magmortars, let's start with Grobal. Dare, bring it on, man. I dare you to jump into Dusknor's oven at max heat. What kind of dare is that? 
Bring it on, man. Not sure whether to be worried or impressed by him. Probably worried. Ah, uh, woohoo! Ah, ah, it burns! Ah, ah, it was worth it, but ow, ow! I'll, um, teleport him out of here. My body hurts, but it was worth it. Well, Robel won a point for his team, I will say. That is probably the worst error if you're a grass type. That's just the kind of challenge this is. Alright, the score is 1-0. Back to the Electivires. Croconaw. Dare. Yeah, I saw the other two dares, but there's a chance the truth question would be something about my past. Any hint of that must be kept secret. Your dare is to stick a body part in a Rotom lawnmower. You can choose, just not your penis. Who would stick their penis in the lawnmower? Uh, fine. I'll just do my left hand, I guess. Okay. Three, two, one. Bah! The things I do for this game. Why would Croconaut do a dare after watching Grovel jump into an oven? Something isn't right. Croconaut just won the first point for his team. The score is now 1 to 1. Mudkit. Truth or dare? Truth. Have you seen the other dares? Why has no one else picked truth yet? Now, I reviewed the camera footage from this morning, and I have the perfect truth. Some of you know the answer to this, but I think it would be better if all of you did. Now, Mudkip, do you happen to have a crush on someone on your team that also happened to be a mid-evolution grass type? You don't have to say who, because I want to see how this plays out. Yes? That's the truth. You got a point. The score is 2 to 1. Next up we have Duot. Truth or Dare? Truth. Are you scared of anyone on this island? Am I scared of anyone? No. Cap. What, but, but I... Liar. No points for you. Well, that's embarrassing. Next up, let's do Dartrix next. Truth or Dare? Okay, I guess I'll do truth. Is there anyone on this island whom you do not trust? If so, who? Yeah, um, um, Torchic. Well, you definitely don't like Torchic, but that wasn't the answer I was looking for. No point! Ah, shit. I couldn't let Croconaw know I was onto him, but now he might suspect me. Damn it. Yeah, I feel like I'm the prime suspect for someone he doesn't trust. It's either me or Duot, but why would he lie about it? I'll have to keep my eye on him. The score is still 2 to 1. Squirtle, truth or dare? I'll go truth. Tell us a story so embarrassing that you got a name for it. <sighs> How did you know about this? So I went to my first party and we were playing Spin the Bottle. When it was my turn, I was about to kiss the most popular girl in the school, Waltz. When we were about to kiss, I think I was allergic to her perfume, so I sneezed right in front of her face. I tried to apologize, but she got really mad and I got the nickname Snoddle. Damn, boy, that was good. Anyway, you get the point. The score is 2 to 2. Toracat, you're next. I'll do a dare. Okay. Your dare is to take down the other team, but not physically. You'll be fighting their mascot, Electivire. Pick the terrain. Straight up dirt. Bring it on. Are you the guy's ass I'm kicking? No. I'm the reason you'll be eating your next meal out of a straw. <sighs> Alright then. You're a move, pussycat. Gladly. Ah! My eyes. Why is there so much? Torcats can't even learn sand attack. Does it look like I give a damn? Well, Torican, you played dirty, but you got a point. The score is now 3 to 2. Brion, you're next. Bring it on, I'll do a dare. Alright, your dare is to get struck by lightning. Not life threatening lightning, but super painful lightning. As painful as that sounds, I'll do it. Of course, just get struck by lightning. How easy to do. Ow! Shit! You see? Super easy. And you took it like a champ. You didn't even fall on the ground or drop the rod. The score is now 3-3. Three to three. Ivysaur, you're next. I'll do truth. 
Alright, truth. Like a boring person, what is your biggest weakness? I guess from my past, my biggest weakness is that I've been too nice. That was how I let Charizard take control over what I did, but I plan not to not let that happen again. I want to be my own person. That was beautiful. And the easiest one we've done so far. Thwacky, you're up. I'll do a dare. I dare you to get dropped 15 feet above the ground. Damn, and you're sure this won't kill or injure me? I think so. You think so? You know what? Whatever, I'll do it. Ah! Uh, oh. I sprained my wrist on the fall. Ow. The score is now 4-4. Four to four. Bailey, truth, or dare? I'll do a truth. Who do you prefer? Grovile or Quilava? I like them both in different ways. I've known Quilava since I was a kid, so I guess I'd say her. That is correct. That's cool. I'll climb up to number one eventually. The score is 4-5. to five. Each team member has one member left. If Torchic doesn't get this, the Electivirus lose. If, Gro if Grottle gets a point, the Magmortos win anyway. Torchic, Truth, or Dare? Truth. Who is your least favorite person on the island? This decision is not easy. So many stupid people here. I'd say Mudkip for Fennekin related reasons. That is the truth. The score is tied 5 to 5. Grottle, you can win this right now. Truth or dare? Dare. Let's go out with a bang. Let a Macargo sit on your head for five seconds. I'll do it. For the team. Heard that, bro. Where the hell am I? Ah! And time's up. Did you kidnap a Macargo for the challenge? Uh, the Magmortars have won the challenge! Congratulations, Electivires, get ready for Tribal. Also, since Grovel had the hardest dare and did it with great enth enthusiasm, I'm giving him MVP. Time to make your way to the event board. Ow, my back. <gasps> Budkip, I have to go! Alright, Grovel, the rules are simple. Pick a tile and you'll receive an event. It could be good or bad. It's that simple. Pick a tile, any tile. I'll pick number eight. Now that is a good one. At any tribal, you can nullify someone's vote. Use it wisely. Ah, sweet dude. That's awesome. That's the beauty of the event board. You never know what you'll get, and it could be amazing. Yeah. Alright, I have to go get ready for tribal. See ya. This could be big. If I can make someone like Dua or Torchic lose their ability to vote, it could send someone important home. Maybe next tribal I can use it. Bayleaf might know what to, how to use it. Hey, wait, Mudkip, can, I need to ask you something. Yeah, what is it? Bayleaf, I need quick advice. Remember when Mudkip admitted to liking someone? Yeah, did you find out who yet? No, but- Well, what are you waiting for? Go ask her! Y yes, right. In today's challenge, you said you like someone. Mudkip, I like you. Am I the person you were talking about? Uh, yes, I didn't really want to interrupt our friendship and our alliance, so I kept it hidden, deep down. So, uh, yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, I mean, you're smart, you're strong, and you're the type of person I can always count on to be there for me. And you're amazing, too. <laughs> so, what now? Wanna make out? Sure. No. That didn't go so well, I assume. She chose Grottle. It'll be okay. You're all still friends. That's at least something. But then that means that the moments we had weren't real. What did I do wrong? Nothing. What matters is that they were real to you. Sometimes life will just shoot you down for no reason. What you have to do is get up and overcome the pain, and then you'll be at peace. Thanks, Bayleaf. You're a good friend. That's what I'm here for. Alright, I have to see Grobal and find out what he got on the event board. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, hopefully it's something good. Talk to you later.
They leave's a good friend. I honestly don't know what I would have done if she wasn't there to help. But she's right, I have to focus on the game. Whatever that means for my future. I hope Ivysaur is going to be okay. I wouldn't want another Drizzle moping around. At least he got over it, eventually. I also wonder what Grobal got. Maybe it can help us in case we lose again. Time to find out. So I was able to snag the ability to nullify someone's vote at any tribal council. That doesn't completely solve our problem, but that's a good start. We'll only need to worry about this if we lose again. But if we have now have two votes against four, you get one on our side and it's a tie. Well, that's the problem. I doubt Torkat would trust us again after, and the alliance is almost inseparable. Yes, about that. I happen to know that Mudkip and Grottle have just started dating and Ivysaur doesn't like it too much. I'd hate to make them turn on one another, but it might be our only shot. I would also hate to do that, but this is a game. But this is only a last resort. If we can make it to the merge before losing that again, then we can use that advantage to get rid of someone big. Exactly. Maybe if we can get the other team to lose enough, big threats like Duat, Breon, and Snivy will leave. Well, we didn't win. Now I've got the feeling one of us is next. It isn't over yet. Maybe we can still convince people to vote Duat out. Like who? Duat and Torchic are just trying to get rid of people like us and Crocona is just going to let them. What if we vote Crocona out? What? What if we get Duat and Torchic to vote Crocona out? Think about it. If they know Crocona is in control of the team, it'll scare Duat and make him want to vote him out. Torchic will follow as long as it's not her going home. That might actually work. It'll be four votes, that's the majority. Exactly. And that will also leave Thwacky without an ally. To my knowledge, that's also true. This could be the biggest play. I'll work on Torchic and you work on Duat. Hey Torchic, before you go to Tribal, I have an idea of you to vote for. If it's Duat, then save it. Actually, it's Krokona. He's running the, this entire team. He has control over three votes. If we keep voting for each other, then he'll just be the swing vote every time. Listen, I don't care who goes home, as long as it's not me. I'll consider voting with you, but only if you do a favor for me next Tribal Council. Ugh, fine. If you vote with us this time, then Squirtle and I will vote with you next Tribal Council. That's exactly what I'd like to hear. Will I vote with Brion? Honestly, I don't know. Her offer seems tempting. Then again, I also got another offer from Crokinaw. Alright, here's who we're really voting for tonight. Duat. I'm not sure you understand this. So, if you vote with us, then we'll have enough votes to vote out Crokinaw. If you keep him around, he'll just be the swing vote each tribal, then none of us are safe. So the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Exactly. Just for this vote, we work together to get rid of the bigger threat. Alright, I'll do it. See you at tribal. Well, Duat said he would vote with us. He is crafty though. I wouldn't be surprised if he double-crossed us again. All we can do is hope at this point. Squirtle makes a good point about none of us being safe against Krokonaw, but if I consider what happens next, Thwacky and Snivy will probably get me next because I'm simply a villain. The safest move I can make is siding with the numbers on this one. In this game, all I've got is me, myself, and I. This is a tough spot to be put in, but I'm doing what I need to do. Hey, Indian, so you're the swing vote man. You have control over three votes. This was a tough decision tonight. Even worse than last time. Welcome back to Tribal Council. You all know the rules. Man, it seems like the numbers are dwindling. This is the smallest tribal we've had all season. Anyway, let's get to voting. The reign on this team is over. 11th one down, my odds of winning are just getting better and better. This dude has to go now. I hope Krokna knows what he's doing. Goodbye, as long as it's not me. I better see you leaving tonight. Man, I really hope I made the right choice here. Now, let's read the votes, but first, if anyone has an immunity idol, please use it now. Or else it'll be too late. Nobody? Nope. Alright, 
the first vote is for Crocodile. The next vote is for Squirtle. It's one each. The next vote is for Squirtle. Two Squirtle, one Crocodile. There are four votes left. The next vote is for Crocodile. It's two votes each. Now, there are three votes left. The next vote is for do I? What? Who voted for me? Brion, you better have not pulled fast one on me. Do I? Do not interrupt the count. Two votes are left. The next vote is for... Do I? What is going on? Crocona, you said there would be five votes against Squirtle. I did say that, didn't I? We all say things, but our actions tell a different story. You understand. What? No! You lying snake! I trusted you! Ugh. I can't believe this. The 11th contestant voted out of Starter Island is... Do I? Pack your bags and leave. What? No, I'm not leaving just yet. I have questions that need to be answered. I figured you would. You! Why did you double cross me? I was nothing but loyal to you. Yes, but to be honest, keeping you in the game doesn't benefit anyone. I needed you to get rid of Charizard, then Drizzile, and now nobody needs you here anymore. Well, maybe Torchic did as a decoy shield. Hey, leave me out of this. You double-crossed me too. If I may quote you, you said, as long as it's not me. It wasn't you. Yeah, instead it was someone who would have voted with you. And that was your mistake. You can't trust anyone in this game. This game is all about making plays that benefit you. You do not benefit me. Therefore, you are just a potential threat who could turn on me. You are going to get what's coming to you. Mark my words. Now, I'm at the point in the game where my alliance makes up half the team. I can do whatever I want next tribal. Who can stop me? It was great to see Dua gone, but that was just cold. Not complaining, but I did not expect that. Dua, before you leave, do you have any last words? Well, I can't say that I'm satisfied with the results. To be honest, I didn't play the best game, and I paid the price for it. Put myself in a position where I couldn't win. I honestly didn't really like anyone on the island, so whoever ends up winning this thing, I really don't care. You've got a hell awaiting me at my next destination with all my previous victims. Bye. We are now at 13 campers left. What will happen now that one of the biggest villains in the game is gone? What will happen with the Electivirus because of that? Will Crocona get what's coming to him? What will happen with our newest relationship on the island? What will Groval do with his advantage? Where does Torcat lie within this, with him doing dirty tactics? Find out next time on Starter Island. Crocona, one brief moment of your time. Why did you spare Dua last tribal council just to vote him off right after that? Why do anything you've done in the past two tribal councils? Good question. Thwacky and I simply came up with suggestions for tonight's vote, and we had Snivy as our swing vote. As you know, we voted for Dua. I am not your enemy. I'm just not your ally either. Damn, so Snivy's been controlling the last two votes? Not done yet. You got lucky though. After that play you tried to pull off, I really considered voting one of the two of you off, but I decided to stick with what I said after the Tribal Council before. Duat is on my radar. Duat will go soon. And now he is gone. You're welcome. So, do you just want to thank you? Sure. We wouldn't like a thank you. Thank you? But as you said, we're not allies. Agreed. For such a simple and straightforward answer, it's a lot to take in. So Snivy is in an alliance with Crocona and Thwacky. It makes them an even bigger threat than I thought. I'm not giving up just yet. If Torchic joins us for the next vote, it's 3-3. Crocona can't have anything up his sleeve that time. Two votes giving Snivy control. If that doesn't make him trust me, I'm not sure what will. I need whatever advantage he got, or at least I need to make sure no one else can use it. Now, I've got to do something. Yo, Grottle, you waiting for Mudkip? 
You heard about us? Snivy found out and told me. Huh. I just wanted to say one quick thing. I think you're a really good competitor. That's why I gave you the extra vote four travels ago. And it's also why I'm looking out for Snivy. I can't believe... I, can, I believe that when the merge comes by, our alliance could work together. I just need to warn you. Don't let your relationship with Mudkip get in the way of the game. Remember, it's a prize of a million dollars. Oh, of course. Was that all? Yes. Let's so make sure you and your alliance stays in the game. If all goes well, we'll have majority. That should do it. It may seem subtle, but that conversation was a win-win situation. Let's say his alliance survives the merge. Our alliances together make up over half the contestants. Grotto manages to screw everything up, then say goodbye to the biggest alliance in the game.